Hi everyone, I hope you're all really, really well. A warm welcome to my channel and to another grocery haul. If this is the first time that you have seen me, hello and welcome. My name is Leanne. I am a mum of two boys. They are five and seven and there's my husband. So we are a family of four. I am following the Slimming World plan. And so I do our shopping with Slimming World and with the family in mind. So there are obviously plenty of products in this shop that I have bought without Slimming World in mind for the rest of the family. If you are okay with seeing those products, I have included sin information where I can. Although I do just recommend checking that information for yourself because I can get things wrong and Slimming World can update their information. This is a really big haul from Aldi. I spent £111, it is way over the budget that I had. Um, it does mean I'm gonna have to rein it in significantly for the next week, but I bought a couple of bits for Christmas and yeah, one piece was a homeware piece and I just couldn't leave it behind. So yeah, I'm way over budget, but I still feel like I'm getting good value for money in Aldi. Um, when I'm filming the hauls, I can tell that I'm buying more and getting a bit more for my money because the hauls are longer. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I think that's all I need to tell you about. So let's get into the haul. So I'll start with the frozen stuff. I am the best bit, of course. I got this large Speculoos cheesecake. I love Speculoos and this is in their Christmas party freezers. And I've got this for Christmas um, because my freezers are really empty and I want to fill some of the gaps. I thought I'd get it now. These are clearly very popular actually because there wasn't very many left but there are some chocolate ones and some strawberry ones in the same freezer so have a rummage in your Aldi if you're looking for the Speculoos one because they're all mixed up in the same freezer in my Aldi. I've got some potato waffles these are for my five-year-old particularly and occasionally my husband and I have these with a cooked breakfast. These are three sins each on the Slimming World plans. They are actually one sin each more than the bird's eye ones because the bird's eye ones are two sins each, but these are obviously um, good value and were the only ones that I had the option of buying anyway. So yeah, got those ones. Got some codfish fingers. I actually got two boxes because my son has two friends coming over on separate days for dinner this week. So these are always handy in the freezer, aren't they? And they're really good value in Aldi and my kids love them. These are two sins per fish finger on Simmer World. Some milk lollies for the kids and for when they have their friends over this week. These are really good on sins. They're one and a half sins per lolly. And the snowman ice cream lollies. So they have these ones and they've got reindeer ones. I resisted the reindeer ones just because we are still in the middle of October but I couldn't resist these ones. These were about 99 pence for four, I think. And these are three and a half cents each on the Simmon World plan. There's some garden peas, some raspberries for my overnight oats, a big bag of chips, because obviously my son's got his friends coming over, and some crispy chicken and tempura batter. I bought these two weeks ago, I think, and they've both been eaten. So I got some more and some breakfast topper also for my overnight oats. If you're not familiar with this, it is a mixture of diced strawberry, peach, mango and pineapple and it's really really delicious and I also I absolutely love the colour of this wood the rest of them weren't quite as striking but I yeah this is a serving platter which I've bought for Christmas um it was obviously gonna be it did push my shopping right over budget but yeah I just couldn't leave it there and yeah just look at the colour variations on this wood it's just stunning it's so lovely and smooth. I think I'm going to pop some of those like little mini desserts out on this probably um, when we, I think we're going to host Boxing Day here. So um, yeah, I think I'll use it for that. But yeah, absolutely love that. So meats this week. I just got some of the skinny beef meatballs. We didn't get any of these last week because I didn't shop. I did our main meal shopping in Tesco. So we really missed these last week. We really love them. And they are half a sin for three meatballs. And then I also got some of these British pork loin medallions. So they are a lean cut and I plan to pop these in the slow cooker and just slow cook them so I can shred them up. And in the freezer at the moment, I've got a tub of the Slimming World barbecue sauce. This is sin free and you literally just put this tub in the microwave for about five minutes, I think, and it's cooked. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shred this pork up when it's been slow cooked because my five year old probably won't like the barbecue sauce so I think I'll give him the shredded pork 
and then I'll add this barbecue sauce to it for my husband and I because this barbecue sauce is so tasty and it's just really quick and easy. So I thought that's what I would do for one of our meals this week. I'm not sure what I'll put it with, maybe rice, veg, I'm not sure. But yeah, so that's um, that's that meal. Then I've got some broccoli. I've got two heads of broccoli because my five-year-old loves it. Some raspberries, got two pack packets of those. Um, a pineapples, my kids love it. They have it for their pudding throughout the week. Some of these specially selected Easy peelers. I got the specially selected ones this week because the other ones didn't look that nice. So I thought we'd try those. I got two lots of bananas, some ripe ones and some green ones. These were in the plastic packaging as most stuff is, but I took it out because they were a little bit sort of, they just needed to come out of the packet basically. Um, some chicken dippers, 24 chicken dippers. These are just to keep in the freezer um, to fill the gaps and for the kids when they have their friends over. A cucumber, some cheese, I got the red Leicester and the medium cheddar. Can have 30 grams of these as a healthy extra A choice on Slim and World. I got some tender stem broccoli, two packets of those, a big box of blueberries, some blackberries. I'm loving blackberries at the moment, and some strawberries. This is quite a big tub. How much grams? 400 grams in there. Some applewood smoked ham for pat lunches, some baby bells for the kids. I think you can have two of these as a healthy extra A choice on Slim and World or their three sins each, some seedless white grapes, some coconut yogurt, this is for my husband, and he will do that whole tub in one night. <laughs> but if you did want to know the sins on that, it's nine sins for the whole pot, so that is quite a lot of sins. I don't know how many grams you get in here, 450 grams. I've got two big bags of carrots. My five-year-old and I are just, well, we're snacking on them all the time, and we're just going through so many carrots. And 12 medium free range eggs so as usual i've got a little stash of protein yogurts i absolutely love these they're one and a half sins each flavor is one and a half sins per pot on simming world and they are 25 grams of protein per pot and i make my overnight oats with these because they're way more filling because obviously they're high protein so i got three vanilla ones and two of the peach and passion fruit i'm really hoping that my aldi gets the salted caramel ones in soon because they are very autumnal. If you get your hands on those, I recommend them. They do taste a little bit like gingerbread. And yeah, if you can get your hands on them, I highly recommend trying those. I also got another one of these protein puddings. Crazy, yes, because I didn't have great things to say about the last one, did I? If you saw my haul a couple of hauls ago, I did try this on camera and gave my opinion. The reason I did that was because I wanted to give everyone the opportunity to actually see what they're like because I thought these were like a sponge pudding and I was so shocked when they were more of like a jelly mousse type pudding um, but I love vanilla so I wanted to try them even though they are eight sins a pot but they are big pots and I could split the portions up whether I would or not I don't know but I love vanilla I really wanted to try it I think I will probably try the chocolate one as well the one I tried last time was the caramel one. But yeah, I thought they were going to be like, a, you know, like when you tip them out and they're like a sponge pudding. Um, but yeah, they are more of a like sweet sort of jelly, jelly, like a yogurt jelly, I guess. So yeah, um, I've got those. Then I got some of the quilted toilet tissue, some snack noodles. These are for my husband just to keep in the cupboard for his lunches. Some fromage fray. These are for the kids. The kids absolutely love these. And they are one cent each on Slimming World. There's a random little tin of Essentials chopped tomatoes there. A little box of tomato selection in there. Some malted Wheaties for the kids. I wouldn't dare take these off the kids, but if I did, I could have 40 grams of these as a healthy extra B choice on Slimming World. I've got some orange zero sugar for the weekend, just something that the family like to have as a little weekend treat. Some tuna in spring water. My seven-year-old's a little bit of a tricky eater and he's suddenly decided he likes tuna. So I went through the last four pack in two weeks. So I needed another one. Some essential spaghetti and some whole wheat spaghetti. So I'm going to put this with the, not all of it obviously, but I'm going to put this with the meatballs and I'll make like a sin-free sauce up out of sort of chopped up pepper, onions and chopped tomatoes, something like that. And... I mix the two together so that we can get a bit of whole wheat, but I don't overload the kids with fibre. Some of these breadsticks, but I'm now buying every week because the kids like to snack on these after school. 
I've got some fruit fusions, uh, black currant and blueberry flavour. I just needed another handbag squash because I'm almost out and I couldn't find the normal ones they have. They only had these fusions. They had some really cool flavours though. Um, I think there was orange and mango and I think there was raspberry and something. So yeah, I, I just picked up the blackberry and blueberry. Some mayonnaise, another tint of chopped tomatoes. I got some nuts. These are for my husband as usual. He snacks on those throughout the week. I think they're eight or eight and a half sins for 25 grams of these on Slimming World. Some baked beans. Another tin of baked beans. Um, tomato passata, which I just use in all my sort of pasta sauces. Um, some sweet corn. I haven't bought sweet corn for ages actually. And every week I go, oh, I could put some sweet corn with the tuna and I always, then I always forget to buy it. So I've got two tins of that. I've got some cheese curls for packed lunches and for the kids to snack on, as well as the cheese and onion snack right. Some red kidney beans in chilli sauce. I've got some minced beef defrosting in the fridge at the moment that I got from Tesco's last week. So I'm going to use that this week and I will probably put these in with it to bulk it out and then it will do a, a, a good couple of days of meals for everyone. Uh, I got a load of sweets as usual because the last lot that I bought lasted us two weeks and so I've had to restock because we have our weekend, I say we have our weekend um, sweets with watching the telly but my seven year old's not actually planning to be here next Saturday night, he's away with beavers so if that goes ahead we probably won't use these but anyway. I got some fizzy rainbow belts, we love these, they are extremely fizzy though. <laughs> my five-year-old had one and the faces he was pulling was really funny um and then some strawberry laces because my kids love those and some cola bottles because my kids also love those so these ones are four and a half sins for 25 grams which is a third of the pack um because they're seven they should be yeah they're 75 gram packs so four and a half sins for a third of each of those packs I also got some of the Aldi own jelly babies. These are one sin each on Simming World. I'm not sure if I would, to be honest. They're not sort of, yeah, I don't know. But um, I just thought I'd see if the kids like them or not. And yeah, I did buy these a couple of weeks ago. They're Wendy Worm Sourtastic Vegan Sweets. My kids didn't like them, but they are a little bit fussy, to be honest. My husband loved them. So I bought another bag so that he can have those at some point. I've got some of these festive friends. Obviously, the Christmas stuff is now coming in thick and fast. They had quite a lot of it in my Aldi. And I picked these up to keep in the cupboard. These are for me. They're individually wrapped, which makes life a lot easier if you're watching what you eat. They are two sins each on the Slim and Wild plan. I thought I would put one of these in some baked oats. And the other thing that you could do is pop it on top of porridge. You can just eat it out of the packet, but obviously it's not going to go very far. You could put one on top of hot chocolate, I guess. Um, but I think I would put one in baked oats and see how that goes. Also got some dairy milk buttons. These are in the Halloween sweet section. These are four sins per little bag on Slimming World. And I just bought these. We've still got the fudges on the go, actually, that I bought from Tesco's. But I just bought these to keep in because... We are getting a lot of friends coming over after school and we are also fast approaching half term, unbelievably. So, um, yeah, they'll definitely get eaten. I might even have some of those because I don't mind spending four sins on something like that. And I like to make mine go further so you can tip these into a bowl with some fruit and some yogurt or pop them in baked oats or even in your overnight oats. There's all sorts of things. So I don't mind spending four sins on a packet of those. Some ibuprofen. I got some Fiber Now bars. Now, these, I cannot tell you how nice they are. They are so much nicer than the um, the other brands. There's some more premium brands that do these. There's also more budget brands. But these are the nicest ones by a mile. The texture is so cakey and it feels like really indulgent. So they're 79 calories per bar or they're four sins on Slimming World. And I absolutely do not worry about spending four sins on these at all. They are so, so nice. But my seven-year-old is away this weekend with beavers and I need to send him some pack up. So he loves these as well. So I think I will put one of these in with his pack up. But yeah, highly, highly rate those. I 
tried to get some sliced beetroot, but they didn't have any, so I got this pickled baby beetroot. That's for my husband, he likes that at lunchtime. And I also got him some crunchy peanut butter. He's the only one who eats crunchy in the house. So that's for him. I got some pano chocolate. This is for, well, it's for my seven-year-old really, but they're individually wrapped, they're great. So I can send um, some of these to his beavers um, weekend. Then I got some biscuits. Now this is a bit unusual for me. I don't normally get biscuits, um, but I did, <laughs> basically. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for yet, but I'm just very aware of the amount of kids coming over after school and things. And, you know, they're just they're just handy to have in, aren't they? Because they don't, you know, they're not perishable. So, um, well, you know, they've got a long old date on them, haven't they? So I got the jam and creams because my five-year-old loves these. They are, however, three and a half sins each on Sewing World, so I will absolutely keep away from them because I know they're delicious and I won't be able to stop after one. So yeah, th those ones. And then I got some of the cookies and cream, so they're like the, um, they're kind of like Oreos. And these are two and a half sins each on Slimming World. So again, I will keep away from them, but my seven-year-old loves those and my five-year-old loves those and my husband loves all of them. And most of the kids that come around love all of them. <laughs> and I got some cheese top rolls for my husband to have throughout the week for his lunches. They're 10 sins per roll. But they're very, very um, generous on the cheese and they look lovely. So if you want to spend 10 sins, I think that's reasonable. And another snack noodles for James. I got some bread, which we actually didn't need two loaves. I didn't realise we still had one in the freezer. Um, but I got two, so I'll have to freeze uh, one of these. Um, both in ones. And some semi-skin milk some kitchen roll and some carling for my husband and that is everything that i have bought from aldi so that was everything that i've bought for our family for the week ahead a lot of these bits will stretch um, across more longer than a week so yeah next week's shop will be much smaller but anyway like i said i hope you guys are all really well thank you so so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in the next one